the world's first heart transplant has been performed. Medical history has been made in South Africa. Newspapers everywhere carry banner headlines and from medical men as far away as the Soviet Union, there is a claim for the dramatic breakthrough. Krutuskia Hospital in the Cape is now the focal point of world attention. And these are the men responsible. Dr. Marius Barnard, Dr. M. C. Buerta, Professor Yanni Lowe, Professor Chris Barnard, and Mr. John van Heerden. There are thousands of telegrams of congratulation and a battery of television and motion picture cameramen anxious for interviews. Five drama-filled hours, the heart of Mr. Nissan Darvel, who was tragically killed in an accident, was transferred to the body of Mr. Louis Washkansky, a 53-year-old businessman suffering from an incurable heart disease. <laughs> Professor Barnard and his team have and will continue to receive the acclaim of the world. Only time can tell if the operation will be successful, but their achievement represents a great milestone in medical research. At Hrutuskia Hospital in the Cape, the African Mirror asked Professor Chris Barnard to speak to the people of South Africa. I welcome this opportunity to have a talk to the public of South Africa and to introduce some of the members of the heart transplant team to the public. I have Dr. M. C. Boerta here, Dr. Val Professor Val Freire, Mr. Van Heerden, operator of the heart-lung machine uh, during the heart transplantation, Dr. Ozinski, uh, was the senior anesthetist during the operation, and Mr. Hewitson, uh, a senior surgeon, was my right-hand man during the transplantation. Uh, these members have, with, have been with me for a long time. We've been working approximately together for 10 years. And during the past three years, we've been concentrating on the problems of heart transplantation. Uh, I'd like to uh, ask Professor Schreder whether he would like to say a few words about the type of patients we select for this operation. We select patients who have um, reached uh, the end of the road, so to speak. Patients who have severe heart failure or heart trouble. Patients who can no longer be killed by conventional medical treatment patients who have no future without an operation, the sole operation available being replacement of the heart. Dr. M. Sibota, will you ask me something about how you have the skenker to choose? Yes, we have the best to do in both cases to choose a skenker to choose and how you will pass to the patient. We feel that this aspect of our transplant is maybe the best to choose a skenker to choose. We do our best, and we make our best on the good work that a center in other countries is done. And I will not tell that it is always the case how good it is for the people who are Dr. van Roten, Leiden, Secretary of Zaken, Los Angeles, and many others, how good it is for them to have a good understanding and a good understanding of the work that they have done. I'd like to thank the public for their support. As they can see, this has been a teamwork. It's been teamwork. And as a team, we would like to thank them very much. 